Like many other states, Hawaii is in the midst of a period of significant growth, a situation that's projected to extend well into the future. And like just about everywhere else, finding and training a core of skilled electricians to do the work is something that is a high priority of the island's NECA IBEW Powering America team. This side of the future is the driving force behind a new union hall and trust fund office for local 1186. And going right along with it is a new training center that will churn out thousands of NECA IBEW qualified electricians in the years to come. Crews are putting the finishing touches on phase one, the union hall and office space right now, while at the same time, the decades old classrooms and offices adjoining the structure are being cleared out to make way for phase two, the renovation of the space. Besides being old and obsolete, the Hawaii NECA chapter and local 1186 had outgrown the space. This new building changes all of that. With 12 new classrooms and two new labs, it will more than double the current capacity. All the facilities, brand new. You know, we're dealing with NECA's uh, premier partners to bring in some of their equipment and training equipment that's going to help with that regard. I think it's going to be exciting. Um, it's going to help us recruit apprentices, number one, because there's definitely a, a need. NECA IBEW electrical work is a well-known commodity in the islands, and the opportunities and apprenticeship offers is becoming more and more of a desired option among educators in Hawaii's high schools and JCs. By coming to us, I think it's a big deal for when somebody who is that young and they know that college or junior college is not for them, that when they find out like, oh, I don't have to, you guys are gonna find me a job and um, okay, I gotta go to school two times a week, but I get paid during the day. You know, it's a minimal investment for their part to get to a well-paying job. If you're doing your job right, then you're gonna attract more people to your organization. And the growth of our organization has grown. And the concept of the buy-in from both the signatory employers as well as our leadership has worked real well. And that's why we're here at this point. They see that they need to develop for their future. And so who's going to benefit from this is not only the signatory employers and the union leadership, but the people that are coming into our industry. The success stories coming out of our apprenticeship program and looking at like well-established journeymen, like that these people are much more successful than people that I went to school with that went through standard four-year you know, college and they didn't have a place to go. While Hawaii's Powering America team works to complete its new $35 million facility, it's also sending a very strong environmental message at the same time. When finished, the building will feature a newly installed microgrid and battery backup system. With a rooftop solar array, it will generate, consume, and store excess energy and will be completely self-sufficient and off the electrical grid. You know, Hawaii is great for renewable energy. Obviously, we have a lot of sun because we're close to the equator, so PVs work well. We've got wind energy going because there's not nice trade winds going. All the resources are there naturally to, to do this. Let IBW be the showcase for developers and those that want to you know, start to look at all of this designing to, to come over here and that's why we did this. It was a showcase to our, our developers and customers that you want to take a look at how the system works, uh, what you can do with the system, uh, the energy saving that you're going to have, which is the biggest reason of it. It was a no-brainer for us and, and the trustees to decide to, to do this. Anywhere a person goes in this beautiful state, it's easy to see why climate change is a major issue among the people who call Hawaii home. We've committed ourselves to do more renewable energy projects for our buildings, more energy efficiency, and that's helped spur the private sector. So seeing our contractors and our electricians similarly lead by example, I think further moves the market in the direction we need it to go. This was a concept that was talked about years ago, and it took a lot of people's effort, our leadership and our signatory employers, our trustees, all to to come up with the idea and, and make, it, make it happen. So when the ribbon is cut, 
on this state-of-the-art symbol of the Nika IBEW Powering America team's commitment to Hawaii, this building will have anything you could ask for in efficiency and technology. Except one thing. We don't have heating, so we don't say heating and air conditioning, just air conditioning. From Honolulu, Oahu, Hawaii, for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information.